This error indicates a non-existent domain. This video contains methods for fixing this error for Windows, Mac and Android operating systems. In Windows, press Windows key, type Control Panel and press Enter. In Control Panel find and click on Network and Sharing Center. In Network and Sharing Center select Change Adapter Settings. In Network Adapter Settings Windows select your connection. It might be Local Area Network or Wireless Network Adapter. Right click on the adapter icon and select properties. In properties window double click internet protocol version 4 property, TCP IPv4. Select the, use the following DNS server addresses option. Now enter the displayed server addresses and click OK. Finally, reopen Google Chrome and check if the issue has been resolved. Another method would be to reset WinSock program. Right click on Windows key and select Command Prompt, Admin. In the Command Prompt environment enter the displayed command and click Enter. Wait until Windows completes the command and restart the computer. Finally, reopen Google Chrome and check if the issue has been resolved. The latter method would be executing command in Command Prompt. Right click on Windows key and select Command Prompt, Admin. Type in the displayed command in the Command Prompt environment and press Enter after each of them. Once these commands are executed restart the computer and check if this error still exists on Google Chrome. Next, let's try resetting Google Chrome. Open Google Chrome. Enter display text in the address bar and hit Enter. Find Reset All to Default button and click it, then relaunch Google Chrome and check if this error still exists. If you get this error on Mac operating system, here are two methods for fixing it. Go to the Apple menu, select System Preferences and click Network. Select the network connection you want to modify. To change Google Public DNS setting on Ethernet, Click on built-in Ethernet and select Advanced. But if you want to change wireless network settings, choose Airport or Wi-Fi and, again, opt for the Advanced settings. Click on DNS at the top center, then click on plus button at the lower left, to add a DNS address. Type in, the displayed IP address for preferred DNS server. Press plus button again and type in, IP address for alternate DNS server. When you complete these steps, press OK and then apply. Open your web browser to check if the problem is resolved. With second method we will clear DNS cache. Open Finder, go to Applications, Utilities, Terminal. In the terminal, enter the displayed commands one by one, each followed by enter click. Once Mac OS executes them, restart the computer and open web browser to see if the error is solved. If you get this error on Android operating system, here are two methods for fixing it. Open your phone settings, click on connections and then click on Wi-Fi. Click and hold on the required connection until drop-down menu appears. Click on, Manage Network Settings. Make sure, Advanced Options are enabled. From, IP Settings drop-down menu, select Static. Scroll down to DNS1 and DNS2 entries and enter the displayed, IP addresses. You should now see your phone reconnect to the Internet. For Method 2 we will flush the DNS cache. Open Chrome, type in the display text into the address box and click Go. Click DNS in the left menu. Find Clear Host Cache button and click it. Click the black arrow at the right top corner of the screen. In the appeared pop-up window click Clear Cache and Flush Sockets options. Now you can restart Google Chrome and check if the problem is resolved. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.